Hey guys, today I thought I'd do a quick tip video. I ain't done one for about a year actually. And uh, I just kind of got away from it there and couldn't think of new ideas. And I got thinking, let's do one about the left hand and right hand threads and how to identify them and common uses and stuff like that. So we're going to take a look at a few examples here and how you identify them. And the easiest way i found to do it is if you look at a bolt like this, you'll see that the threads go uphill like this. If they go uphill towards the right, it's a right hand thread. If they slant upwards like this to the left, it's left hand. So you just follow the slant from left to right. If it goes up, it's right. And if it goes this way, it's left hand thread. And this is true for any type of bolt going uphill from the left to the right, so that's a right hand bolt. Now if you're looking at a nut, this is right off that big bolt you see right there. It's kind of hard to see. It's slanted the opposite way. And the reason it's like this, is because when you're looking inside a nut like this, you're looking at the mirror image of the bolt. What it would look like on the back side in a mirror. But you can see it threads right on in normal rotation. And like I said, it's the same for any type of screw or bolt. As you can see here, this is a lag bolt. It's kind of hard to see, but they still slant from left to right going uphill. And of course, you're not going to have a left hand wood screw, at least I never heard of it. And here's another wood screw. You can see it slants from left to right as well. So you know it's a right hand thread. That's true for anything with threads on it. Now, I really had to do some digging to find something left handed because it's just so uncommon. Uh, this is a center punch here. Let me zoom out a little bit. This is one of your one of them spring loaded center punches. And uh, the end one here is actually a left handed thread. I'm not going to take it completely apart. But if you look, you try to unscrew it normal, it won't come off. But if you take it opposite, like you're tightening a bolt, you can see it starting to unthread there. Like I said, I'm not going to take it apart because I don't want to mess up my punch. Then you you screw it in backwards. If you look at it, the left side's up on those threads right there. Another common use is a gas fitting. You see it's slanting uphill from the right to the left. So it's left up. So you know it's a left hand thread. As you can see the difference here. This one slants up to the up, right up, left up. That's how you memorize it. If the right side's up, it's a right hand thread. If the left side's up, it's a left hand thread. And this hose you see here, I was using for an example, is off my uh, double burner propane heater. I showed it in another video, and that's the only gas fitting I could find that was left hand. If you want to see that thing in action, I'll put the link in right here, and you can click on that, and it'll open up in another window, and you can see what this burner, double burner does. I did like a video review on it. But uh, that's how you identify left hand and right hand threads. The only time you really have to identify this is if you're if you bought something that's uh, all apart or something you're not for sure if something's left hand or right hand thread you need to check it out first if you're not trying to take it off the wrong way and another use for these was uh, lug nuts on the driver's side I think it was on the on the older vehicles they used it to keep the lug nuts from backing off and losing your wheels when going down the road but it actually makes sense if you stop and think about it because uh, if, you, if you got right hand thread nuts on there, they could actually work loose from just turning. And something else that you'll run into is like on skill saws or a circular saw or a table saw or a regular arm saw, any, anything with a circular blade on it, the bolt is usually a left hand thread because if you're cutting wood, the uh, saw is turned a certain direction and the torque put onto the saw from the, the blade cutting into the wood will actually loosen the bolt as the motor is spinning on it. So to prevent that from happening, they put a left hand bolt on there to keep it from working loose. That's about the only time you'll see it. And on something like this, they just do that to keep you from taking it apart, more or less. That's the only reason I could think of for doing that on something like a center punch like this. I tell you, it can be really confusing if you're working on something with left hand threads. I've heard of people working on cars that have that on the lug nuts and they're actually uh, breaking the lug bolts on there because they're trying to loosen it like you would a normal bolt and here they're actually tightening it and they're not realizing it and they're snapping the bolt right off. 
so that's just something you got to look out for. And another left-hand screw I ran into is the one inside this drill chuck. It's a Torx drive, and it's a left-hand screw. And if you look, the thread drew up on the left side. So it's left up, so it's a left-hand thread. Okay, that's about it. This video is a little longer than I was planning on, but, but sometimes I get talking there and get carried away. So, And I actually had something else to show you all. This is actually an ink pen. You pull off the nut here and you write with it. <laughs> and you can put the nut back up here. And I'll put a link in the description where you can get one of these. And uh, here's another neat one I got, shaped like a wrench. Pull that off. I figured that'd be neat to have around here in the garage for writing and stuff. <laughs> well, guys, I guess that's about it. If you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching.